The world of paint correction and polishing is getting more complicated by the minute. And every week we receive hundreds of questions in comments on social media, on videos and emails. We want to answer those questions. This is Rupa's Replies. We get a lot of questions at Rupus about pad stall. What is it? What causes it? Is it really gonna affect your polishing process? And what kind of adjustments can you make to make sure that that pad keeps rotating? Pad stall is when the pad itself stops rotating. On a random orbital polisher like this Bigfoot 21, when I squeeze the trigger, it's gonna drive an orbit. The rotation is free spinning, which means that a safety factor built into the tool is that it can stop rotating. If I run against an edge, if I push too hard, if my pad is too soft, these are all different things that can cause that rotation to slow down. Now on a large diameter random orbital polisher like a Bigfoot, that orbital movement's the dominant movement. You're getting 80-90% of the polishing action from the orbit, so momentary pad stall is not a bad thing. It doesn't have a big impact. If you're polishing the paint and you get it, it stalls in a few areas, that's a safety feature, keep going. But there are a couple of technique adjustments you can make that can help you get over that stall and keep that optimal performance. Uh, one of them, and it's a little bit counterintuitive, is to push a little bit harder. By pushing harder, you compress the foam and you transfer the orbital action to the paint because again, that's the dominant movement. Another thing is if we're into a concave and we're, uh, surface, think like the hips on a Porsche 911, and we've got this big 21 pad and the big orbit, then we're, we might have to put a little bit of angle onto the machine, and again, combine that with pressure and transfer it and get that orbital action. But as soon as we come out of that concave, we're just gonna go back to polishing as normal, keeping the pad flat to the surface. So if you get pad stall occasionally on a large diameter orbital, don't worry about it. But play with the angle, play with the, the pressure, and as a last res resort, sometimes you can go ahead and bump it up from three or four to five or six just to power through that area and then reduce the speed, keep polishing and making swirl-free shiny paint. Hopefully you found this video on pad stall helpful and answered any little questions you might have about what causes it and little things you can do to make sure you still get really good performance on the paint. And if you did find the content of this video helpful, give us a like, subscribe to us, leave a comment below and ask us a question. Who knows, the question you ask might be the next video we shoot for Rupus Replies.